you doing, baby? These are my children. April 28, 2000. 22. James is vomiting. This is, hasn't happened in a while. And Leon is, of course, standing up and itching his rash. Dude, what is going on, baby ding? Where the hell did that come from? Is it because I just yelled at you for barking? Or is it because you're ill? And that's why he wanted to come outside. I put them in the moat of the vestibule. Remember, it's toxic. It takes me a while to clean up everything, and they always want to sit with me, near me. So I have to swap, you know, this thing. Uh oh, he's not finished. Baby, ding dong. All hell and the math landlord needs to do, the building and the building management, is pay for a place with a kitchen. I don't have a violent history or whatever the hell he says. You pay for a place with a kitchen, Otherwise, we can't go anywhere. Or you spend a thousand dollars, eighteen hundred bucks the most, and you do what you said you and I would do when you got back from California. We were supposed to do it in June. And because I found mold, and everyone said, "Dude, he's not—he's not coming," and you found mold. You have to report it. You have to make a complaint. So I did. So then, landlords, he flipped out. Got the whole building involved. And he never came to fix it. And it's still not fixed. And it was going to be super easy. And obviously super, possibly dangerous. <coughs> the way that he does things so recklessly. Either way. <coughs> Yeah, my cough is back. <coughs> <coughs> We're all fucked up. Is he gonna blame this on me? Of course he is. We can't go anywhere without a kitchen. We can't afford to go anywhere. So we're forced to stay here. He knows that. They all know this. My baby's vomit. Okay, Dingles, you stay here. We're gonna go for what X. Look at my babies. Look at them. I gotta, I gotta fix this, man. I know exactly how to fix it. So does the landlord. James McMahon knows exactly how to fix it. The band-aid, it's all we need is the band-aid. We take part of the kitchen, not the whole thing. Just like James McMahon said, he gave me the fucking, the instruction manual we're going to use. You take out part of the kitchen. Uh, the wall back there is absolutely holes, big holes, gaps, whatever. It looks good. I bet it's fucking, it, he even said it's a big, big, big problem back there. So we, we just take that out. We fucking fill, I'll fucking fill the wall, I'll cover it with sheet metal. And then, I'll spray rubber the fuck out of it. All back there, spray rubber. Spray rubber, and then latex paint. I'll do it to the whole fucking back wall. In the bathroom, that whole wall. Bathroom, kitchen, and in the loft. Spray rubber, latex paint, cover up the fucking big ass holes where the mouths are coming in. Analysis. After the big holes in the wall, that'll keep the moisture out of the house. Remember, they found black mold in the living room. In the air in the living room. So, and then after that, then, and it's not even a search and seal. It's just a fucking seal. I know exactly where all the fucking problems are. This fucking motherfucker. He knows that I know. Because I filled them all. Uh, 
And then we search and seal. We do the radiators, blah, 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 the closets, okay. That's it, done. Then you don't have to spend your $50,000 and you can fucking fuck off. And we'll move when we fucking are able to. I'll kill my children. It's all a chance they don't fucking recover from what you've done. I don't recover from what you've done. Remember, I have tuberculosis. They are 10 years, 4 months, and what is it? And 17 days alive today. 10 years, 4 months, and 17 days. Started, they were nine years. It was started in last year, in April, is when it got crazy. It really started October 2020. But it really, really started before we moved in. I just noticed it October 2020. I noticed mice, 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 mice. All the way until May when it was like, oh my god, there's mold too? <laughs> So, we know exactly what to do. The landlord knows exactly what to do. He's a fucking liar. And we figured out he's stalling. And we knew he was stalling. Now we figured out why. He's stalling until his non-payment case, which next time is on the 20th, where I'm gonna ask for an attorney. And then it gets pushed off again. And I, I can absolutely, can and will absolutely prove with so much evidence that he owes me money. I don't owe him money. I don't owe him any rent. Not for even the holdover part. Nothing. He's still paying me $25 an hour plus expenses to remediate, which I do every day. Every fucking day. I just killed or murdered mouse number 198 and 199 and funeraled them in the same day. That was a fucking day. When two cockroaches come in, that was a fucking day. I just released the cockroach. I don't kill things. Not even a fucking cockroach. I have them under a glass for two days and then I'm like, fuck this. What day and a half? I'm like, fuck this. I gotta get him out of here. So I did. And I released him into the garbage. One of his legs is broken. Love is okay. James McMath is doing this on purpose, and it's because the landlord and the building and the building management are all in bed with this. They're all guilty of all kinds of things. The judge and the lawyers will be able to label them. Criminal harassment. That's a big one. Abuse. Negligence. Yep. Animal cruelty. Animal abuse. A lot of other things. Okay. April 28, 2022. Let's see what comes next.